PF cabling box. Antenna system installation. Antenna system installation including falling parts. Installing the feeder cable window and outdoor cabling rack. Installing the antenna and antenna jumper. Making the cable connector. Installing the feeder cable. Installing the grounder clip. Installing the cabinet top jumper. Installing the lightning arrestor. Checking the antenna and the feeder system. Precautions of antenna installation. Before installation, read the installation menu and follow the procedures specified inside. To ensure personal safety, do not install antennas near any power lines. Wear safety belt and a safety helmet for working at heights. Never conduct any installation or test in rain, wind, moisture, or lightning weather. Strictly obey relevant precautions while installation every part. Installing the feeder cable window and outdoor cabling racks. Firstly, determine the position of feeder window. Mark the installation holes by lines and drill holes with a percussion drill. Install expansion bolt fixed feeder window. Notice to install fix up clip downward. Seal the gap between feeder window and wall with waterproof adhesive cement. Then install outdoor cabling rack. To ensure the convenience of making a dripping bench, the outdoor cabling rack should be lower than feeder window. Connect the grounding cable of outdoor cabling racks to copper grounding bar. Installing the antenna and antenna jumper. Connect the antenna to a fixing component with bolt. Connect the U-shaped bolts to the fixing component. Connect the antenna and antenna jumper. Attention to protect them from watering. Tighten the 1 second jumper and the antenna connector with a spanner. And seal the connector with waterproof ascensive tape and ultraviolet radioaction proof tape at least 5 layers, wrapping semi overlapping style. Use a pulley or hosting mesh to lead the feeder cables to a specified place. Make sure the antenna is in the coverage area of lighting arrestor. Adjust the antennas to appropriate heights according to the network planning parameters. As to the directional antenna, Asthmers of the antenna should be adjusted. Use the balls and U-shaped balls to fix the antenna onto the antenna pole, so as to ensure that the input-output poles of the antenna face downwards. Adjust the supporting bracket of the antenna. On the premise that the antenna pole is vertical, Adjust the down tilt angle of the antenna according to the network planning parameters to ensure it is the same as the angle indicates on the supporting bracket of the antenna. The tolerable error is not more than 1 degree. Tightening the down tilt angle fixing bracket with a spanner. Bind the antenna jumpers along the fixing bracket, make them look tight. Check to ensure all the screws have been fastened. Make sure the antenna has correct height, and armor mirrors, tight angle, and anti-wind ability. Making the cable connector. 
Prostrate recession about 150 mm of the connector at one end. Use the knife to strip off the sheath of the feeder cable 50 mm away from the end. Put the feed cable end into the notch of the cutter, making the notch closest possibly to the sheath of the feed cable. Then gently close the cutter and press it slightly. Wind from the feeder cable end, turn the cutter crosswise till the front blade has cut away the internal and external conductors. Revolve the cutter slightly for two cycles so as to make sure that the black blade has cut away from the shirt. Strip off the broken sheath. Plug the cable end into the fixing component. Cover the external conductor with the correcting ring carefully. Pull the knife back into the internal conductor with a small tilt angle. Rotate the knife clockwise to expand the external conductor. Lock the connector ring. Brush the copper fillings of the foam material and the internal conductor. Rotate the connector till it gets onto the connector fastener. Use a spanner to hold the connector component. Use another spanner to fasten it with appropriate moment. DRN connector moment has a typical value of 1.7 Nm and should not more than 2.3 Nm. Installing the feeder cable. Use a pulley or horse-thirteen mesh to lift the feeder cables to the arm tower. Connect the main feeder cable and the one-second antenna jumper cable. Fasten the connector with a spanner and enwrap the connector with insulate tape and waterproof tape at least five layers. Wrap in semi-overlapping style and the tapes from inner side to outside are insulate, waterproof, insulate, waterproof, and insulate. Fix the main feeder cable with the cable fastener. Put the main feeder cable into equipment room through feeder window. Before put the equipment into the feeder cable window, make a dripping band for the main feeder cable. After installation, feeder cable layout should be tidy with no cross and same band degree. Installing the ground clip. Find on the 7 8 feeder cable the marked position where the grounding clip should be installed and strip the jacket of 7 8 feet cable at the installation position. Wrap the ring buckle of grounding clip around the external conductor of the feeder cable and close the ring buckle. The grounding point of the grounding cable should be lower than the other end of the grounding cage to avoid water intrusion. Many grounding clips can be bound together and then connected to the nearest iron tower or grounding cable of a building. From the lower end, enwrap the connection part with 5 layers with insulate tape and waterproof tape. Wrap in semi-overlapping style and the tapes from inner side to outside are insulate, waterproof, insulate, waterproof and insulate.
The grounding clip is used for connecting the external conductor of the feeder cable with the tower support, or just connecting the grounding cable alone, and it can provide channel to guide current into the ground in case of lightning strike. Usually, grounding clips must be installed at the top of the feeder cable near the antenna, at the end of the feeder cable near the tower bottom, and at the section of the feeder immediately before entering the equipment room. For a feeder cable of longer than 60 meters, grounding clips must be installed on the middle part. Install outdoor copper grounding bar and combine the grounding method. Adopt the outdoor copper grounding bar according to the equipment room need. Fix outdoor copper grounding bar on wall near outdoor cabling rack. Connect the grounding cable of lightning arrestor to outdoor copper grounding bar. Usually, connect the grounding cable of grounding clips on the feeder cable near equipment room to outdoor copper grounding bar. Find out grounding points of base station grounding net, then remove the rust. Lead out grounding cables from indoor and outdoor copper grounding bar respectively and make locks. Weld every grounding cable to base station grounding net with different grounding points. Do not connect the grounding cable of indoor copper grounding bar to outdoor copper grounding bar. Use grounder resistance tester to test the combined grounding resistance. Make sure it's less than 1 ohm, otherwise modify it. Perform anti-raster procession for outdoor copper grounding bar and base station grounding net. Tracking and testing antenna and feeder system. When finished installation the antenna and the feeder system, check to ensure the connectors can connect the feeder cables and jumpers very tightly to ensure the lightning arrestor installation is reliable and correct to ensure all the screws have been fixed tightly, to ensure the waterproofings are reliable. Check and measure the azimuth angle of antenna. Check the voltage standard wave radio VSWR, of the antenna and the feeder system. If not eligible, less than 1.3 usually, then check the joints or continue to check the performance of the other parts.